So hello YouTube, this is uh, Mighty Pork. I decided to record a short video about the resource pack workbench, which is a tool I made not long ago, and it, as it, the name tells you, it works with resource packs for Minecraft. So it's a jar file, Java application. You click it and open in Java. That's easy and because this is uh, basically the first time I started here so it asks me to select Minecraft version if I select uh, modded one it will think the mod, mod assets are uh, part of vanilla and it will let me change mod files like texture, uh, textures too but I will go for uh, vanilla 162 now it was importing the pack and now the tool is ready for making packs so I can create project open project and here are other options when the project is opened here I can uh, manage the directory tree library that's a kind of system where you can import a resource pack I will show you here uh, I select some pack let's say this one click import here I can change the name it will use when importing and import it's imported so now I have it here and I can do something with the pack I will import one more because it's always more fun if I have more choice and I will try this one this time OCD let's rename it and it's imported so now let's do some uh, work I create new project which will be called new project or not it's a stupid name let's call it mighty pack and create the project and here you can see the project files some sounds fonts texts and uh, textures if you want to edit the unicode fonts then you click these options and here you have all these crazy characters which you can change if you really think it's cool uh, there's like 50 pages of Chinese alone I think that's not very cool uh, so I usually just hide this and it's done uh, you can also of course show the translations here now this option you know this is not exactly what the pack looks like inside it's a, a representation which looks cool it's fancy and you know easy to read and everything the items are in uh, categories you know here are things for horses or pigs and stuff but if you really want the real thing you click uh, this option and this is what it looks like in real you see it's kind of messy because Mojang doesn't r really bother to make it easy for us so most of the time you will want this but if you do mods it's best to use the the raw, raw design and see the real directories because fancy tree uh, uses uh, kind of configuration files and if you have mods here it will just put the files here in the pack folder but you can change that of course you can click manage mod groups and here you have a config file you create group mod assets that's well you would see it there here you have a folder zens minimap and here in it are other things here we have a connecting textures folder and actually if you have the mods installed and you do reload vanilla which you do here from library re extract vanilla it will uh, show you sorry it will show you the options for these mods 
basically this is this uh, is to make the groups but um, groups alone are useless so you have to manage also filters and well here's a bit of explanation at the top how to do the filters you read it yourself and here we have filters so you um, make filter for the inner groups and then for the outer groups because if the outer group took all then for the uh, subfolders nothing would be left so you select the length the images and here you do the rest using the asterisk sign so let's uh, change something in the pack so this video must not be so long like, like the last time because the last video i made uh, a lost part of its sound which isn't cool so i change a uh, picture let's to be to be fast i will just import one because editing is slower it will open gimp and uh well it's not really as easy as this and i want a diamond icon yeah and yes here we here you go we have a project icon this will be showed in minecraft here you can also rename the pack description uh, so let's start with sounds you can um, well basically about the tree i forgot to say something here you see this plus means it's inherit it means it takes uh starts for its from its parent folder so if i uh, here this is the parent so if i click ocd it would inherit from ocd but of course ocd uh, doesn't have anything so if a parent has silence then this will take silence to silence is a source of um, silent awk files that are generated by this tool and it lets you mute some sound so oh, let's go for, for inherit so it's good for uh, villagers for example you would go to mobs and uh, find villager and here you have these uh, stupid sounds which nobody wants to hear so you click and select silence and when you export it will put the silent sounds there and they will be silent so now other things font oh you can notice that fonts have you know this is has a light background but fonts have darker that's so you can easily read it uh, you can change some file let's do the thing with the pork chop i select pork chop cook it and i edit it actually i first must copy it to project here you have it in project here is that it's inside the folder uh, actually i will show you here is a project files assets textures and here you have the pork chop so it really is there and now i can uh, edit it using gimp which is quite easy I can well I can just put some paint on it so you see that it is working and export it well, I think this is a very ugly picture of pork chop but let's try it and yes this is a pork chop which what it looks like now and I can also replace it I select uh, yeah this is better pork chop so this is basically about the pack here i have blocks let's show you quickly i select i want uh, blocks from splex and yes they are uh, use it nicely all of them and i want for example to have ores from the other pack and it takes them from the other pack uh, so that's the most important things here now you can of course on windows the edit button for the pictures won't work you have to configure this and here select the exe file of the editor and you know what i mean so i hope i explained it, it in a good detail and i'll give it a try the link is in description one last thing you can export it to a file or straight to minecraft um so thanks for watching